Yo, what's up boys? It's Thetic. In today's video, this is going to be my complete Chapter 5 Season 2 Windows Optimization. This video is going to cover absolutely everything from Windows settings to NVIDIA settings to Fortnite settings. And it's just going to help your overall performance, especially if your game has been running bad this season. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure to like and comment and share it with your friends if it helped you. It really supports me and consider using code Thetic in the item shop. I'd really appreciate it. See you guys in the next one. So starting off, I'm going to leave a link to this folder that I'm using in the description. This will have everything in it. So just go ahead and download it and make sure you extract it. Don't use it from the zipped version that Google will give you. Make sure you extract it with something like WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever you have, even the basic Windows. Once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and open it up and go to zero, create a resource point. Just open up the resource point shortcut. And what this is, is that you can create a resource point that will let you go back to whatever your settings are or whatever you have right now before you start doing all the stuff. So if you have any error or any issues, you can always just go back to this resource point. To do this, you just need to select your main drive, the one that says system on it, and then just hit configure. Use about 3% of your max usage here, and then just make sure it says turn on system protection. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and hit create and then name it whatever you want. I'll just name it that. And then it will go ahead and create a resource point that you can always go back to if you have any problems. To use it, all you would have to do is hit system restore, choose a different point, and then select whatever you know you'd have to do. So whichever one you, you named. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and go to the basics folder and starting off with UAC. This is a disable UAC registry file. All this does is disable UAC. Like it says, UAC is you can type it in windows settings. If you want, it is just choose to be notified about changes to your computer. It's very useless. All it does is tell you when a reg registry file or any other file is changing anything about your computer. You don't want this on because it's one, it's annoying and two, it can mess up certain things and it won't let certain things go through that we're going to use in this pack. So go ahead and turn it off. If it asks you to restart, go ahead and restart your PC. If not, we can keep going, go to disable updates and find wub.exe, run it as administrator. And all you gotta do is select disable updates and protect service settings and then hit apply. What this does is completely disables all windows, um, updates. Uh, if you try to go to windows updates now, it won't work. As you can see, you can't check for updates. You can't do anything. It's just turned off. If you ever want to turn it back on, you always can come back to the app and enable them. But windows updates suck. They ruin your performance. They resell your settings. They're completely useless. In most cases, for whatever reason you need them on, go ahead and go back to that and enable them. The next folder is the C++ folder. This is just a Microsoft app that a lot of applications use to run. You don't, necessarily have to have these but you might as well there's no downside to it it's it's literally just microsoft apps they don't run in the background or anything so go ahead and click install all and just it'll do it for you once it's completely done it won't get any pop-ups you're done now we can go to the 7-zip folder go to 7-zip install hit install then close then run 7-zip.reg hit yes okay all this registry file does is changes the UI of 7-Zip to make it so when you hover over it, it's not a bunch of things. It's just one or two options to extract. The next thing we're going to do is go to uninstall old apps and go to the app shortcut. All you have to do here is go through this entire list and uninstall anything that you don't need. Once you're done with that, you can close out of it. Go back to sound plus visuals. We're going to open the sound settings. You're going to right click. You're going to uncheck show disabled devices so they're hidden. And now go through this entire list. If you have anything that isn't your main headset, uh, you can right click it and hit disable. And so you get down to one thing or however many things you use for audio. Then double click your main headset, hit advance and make sure it's on this quality. Hit OK. Then we can do the same thing in the recording tab. Just disable anything that you don't use. I use both of these. So I'm going to go ahead and go here to my main one and in advance, make sure it's on once again, same quality. And then you can go to communications and make sure this is selected. Do nothing. And there you go. Now you can hit OK and move on to visual settings. This just opens the visual settings for Windows, the advanced ones. All you have to do here is hit adjust for best performance and then copy these settings. I like smooth edges of the fonts. I like show window contents while dragging and I like show thumbnails of icons. It's purely preference if you want some other ones as well, but I would recommend disabling as many as you can. Then just hit OK and we can go back again. Next, we're going to open up the GPU drivers folder. Go to uninstall old driver and find the DDU. Double click it, hit extract. And then it will go ahead and extract it into the same folder. Now all you gotta do is open that up and run display driver uninstaller. It'll give you a warning and it'll tell you some things. You can close out of this and then just hit okay. You don't you don't need to be in safe mode. You can if you really want to, but 
we're going to go ahead and select device type GPU and then select whether you have Nvidia, AMD, or Intel, whatever GPU you have. If you don't know, either find your PC or use like CPU Z or something to see what card you have. But once you got that, go ahead and click it. And then all you have to do is click clean and do not restart. I'm not going to do this because I already like, I already have all the tweaks and everything, but all it'll do is it'll go through uninstall your GPU driver and everything included with it, including like GeForce Force Experience. It'll just clean uninstall everything so you can have a fresh start when we install the new driver. Once you're done with it, it will say, would you like to exit and that it's complete? Then you can hit yes until it's done. Don't click anything and don't close out of it. Then we can go back and we can go to the new driver. We can open NV clean install, manually select a driver version, select the newest one at the time of you watching this, hit next. Don't select any of this. If you need GeForce experience, just install it after as a separate program. Don't install a driver, just, just GeForce experience. But sometimes if you install it with this, it'll bug out. So I don't do it. And now it's just going to copy the installer files and I'll get back to you when this is done. Once it's done, you'll be brought to this page. All you need to select here is disable installer telemetry and perform a clean install. Hit next and then hit install. Now this will open up the normal NVIDIA driver install and you can just go through it like usual. Agree and continue, custom, next, next, and then it'll go ahead and install. I'm going to crash the installer because I already have it downloaded like I said, but you continue with it, install the driver. And then once you're done, your second monitor will be back on from when you didn't have a driver and you will have your NVIDIA control panel. Then once it's done, you can open your NVIDIA control panel. I can't right click and select it, but you, you will be able to. I just have the service disabled. So ignore me, just do it. Right click your desktop NVIDIA control panel. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit desktop and sh make sure enabled developer settings is checked. That will allow this one to be seen. We're gonna go ahead and start off with adjust the image with preview. We're going to select this middle one right here. Then we're going to select manage 3D settings. And we're going to come back to this in just a second. Um, I'll automatically do all of these for you. But we're going to go to configure surround. Make sure that your GPU was selected here. Then go to change res. Make sure it is the highest refresh rate PC resolution that you have. For me, it's 240 and 144. But for you, whatever. Next, go here. If you use digital vibrance, you can change it here on your main monitor. Doesn't matter for me. Next, you're going to go to adjust desktop size and position. Make sure for both of your monitors or however many you have that it's selected on display. No scaling and override is checked. Then hit apply. Next, we're going to go to G-Sync. Make sure it's unchecked. G-Sync is useless and doesn't help at all. Then we're going to go to set up multiple displays. If you have multiple monitors, you can select the correct orientation. For me, it's that. Then we're going to go to manage GPU performance counters like so. I just messed up my thing. All right, we're good. Um, and what you can do is make sure it is allow the GPU performance counts for all users. Just make sure you hit that and then hit apply. Next, we're going to go to adjust video color settings. We're going to go to both of our monitors or however many you have, of course. Go to NVIDIA settings, not with video player. Go to advanced and make sure it's set on 0 to 255 on all your monitors. Once you're done with that, you're done with the NVIDIA control panel. You can just hit apply and then close out of it. All right, now we can move on to our game settings, our launcher settings. So we're going to go ahead and open up our Epic Games launcher to start. We're going to go to our settings. We're going to go to settings here. And you're going to scroll all the way down. First of all, uncheck these notifications. They're completely useless and they're just annoying. Then scroll down even more. Go to Fortnite and make sure additional command line arguments is checked. It won't be by default, but just check it and type exactly what this is right here. No texture streaming like so i left a copy paste in the um launcher options that you can just copy and paste into the uh, bar and then you're just gonna hit out of settings now we're gonna go to our library we're gonna go to fortnite right here we're gonna find this little these three little dots we're gonna hit options now we're gonna copy these exact settings right here unless you play save the world you can check that as well but for me i don't so i'm just gonna leave it like this and then hit apply it'll update your game and then once you're done now we can launch our game once your game is open you're gonna go ahead and go to your settings and we're going to first of all change our rendering mode to dx11 because some settings are hidden on performance mode for some reason so you have to go to dx11 hit apply, and then restart your game. I don't know why this is. It's just Epic Games for some reason only allows you to view settings on DX11 when they affect performance mode as well. So once you've relaunched your game on DX11, go back to your settings, and now we can go through all of these. 
First of all, brightness, this is just preference. You can use whatever you want. I use 100. User interface contrast, all this affects is the menu and like your like weapon bar. It's just preference. Colorblind mode, this is also preference. This colorblind doesn't do anything for your frames. No, no colorblind will help or change your frames at all. Just use whatever you like. I don't use it, so I have it off. Make sure motion blur is not on. That is awful. And now we're just going to copy all of these settings. So custom, off, recommended, 100% 3D res. Now we're going to go through all of these and turn everything to the lowest right here, all the way down to advanced. Show FPS if you want or not. Crash debugging off. Latency markers off. NVIDIA Reflex low latency. Turn this to on plus boost. And then report performance stats disabled. Then you can hit apply. Scroll all the way back up and set your game back to performance mode. Then just hit apply and then you can restart your game if you want or you can just close it like I'm going to do. And then for the final part of this video, I'm going to go through all window settings and certain tweaks you can do. So before we do anything, we're going to actually just open our actual window settings here. I'm going to go through every single one of these. So starting off with system, we're going to go here and we don't need to do anything here. Go to notifications, turn off, and then turn all three of these off. Then go to focus assist, off, and then all four of these off. Then we can go ahead and move on to gaming. Make sure game bar is off and game mode is also off. Next, we can go over to ease of access. And all you gotta do here is we're gonna go to mouse and then we're gonna go change other mouse options, additional mouse options. Make sure enhanced point of precision is turned off. Uh, Fortnite will automatically disable this by default when you launch it, but for other games, they might not. So you really do not want to use uh, mouse acceleration because it is absolutely atrocious. So once you're done with the mouse settings, you can go over to privacy and we're going to turn off all of these, this, this, all of these, and all of these. Then scroll down to background apps and disable them and then you are done with your window settings the next thing is in my folder you can go ahead and go to the win32 and what these two do is they just change your win32 priority separation which this just changes your cpu's priority timings on things like games and apps um for 99 of you you're going to want to use 26 hex this is the best value um you can test out 28 if you want you don't need to reset your pc for it to change you can launch it and see if you feel like a significant difference, which you probably won't, but I would recommend just using 26. Then we can go to power plan. And what we can do is we can double click Thetic best power plan. Now for me, I have certain services disabled to where this won't work, but it should work for all of you. And all you have to do is go to change power plan, right? And then select the one that uh, will be imported, which is this one. It should automatically select with the batch file I used. But once you got that, if you want to, you can disable and or remove the default power plans. And now, as you can see, they're all gone besides ultimate performance, which is a custom one. I can just delete that. But um, yep, once you're done with that, you are good to go. You can go ahead and run your game. Make sure you restart your PC before so everything applies. And you should have much better frames, delay. And if you have anything wrong, like I said, you can obviously use the restore point that we made at the beginning of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it did help, make sure to like and subscribe. Pretty simple video on just running through the Fortnite settings. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe.